One of the biggest obstacles I find people face these days is time or lack thereof. My wife, Neri, works eight hours a day. She drives to and from the office on most days, does kid pickups when needed, and she also helps me manage some parts of the business, also working out twice a day. Now I play tennis anywhere from four to five times a week. I also work out anywhere from four to five times a week. I run a business, as you know. I take on 50 personal nutrition coaching clients per belly burn, and I participate in all of the kids' activities. And I get it, we are tired, we are busy. But how is it that some of us do nothing, but others are able to do it all? So in today's video, I'm going to help you lay out your day to be able to get it done. What's up everybody, Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit. Today we're gonna to help you overcome the obstacle of not having time. Let's say that you wake up at 5.45 a.m. and you get to Fit Club for the 6.20 a.m. class. Now the class usually ends in and around 6.50, so that gives you anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes to get home where you're gonna get the kids ready in and around 7.30 which is gonna take you about a half hour to get them to brush their teeth, make them breakfast, and potentially prep their lunches. Now, let's say you get them on the school bus for 8.15, and you start your work at 8.30. So some of you work from home, this is if you're working from home on this day. If the times are a little bit different, then you would just have to shoot this a little bit earlier. Okay, so what does that mean? Instead of working out at the 5.45 or 6.20 a.m. class, you might have to go in at 5.40 and just move your day a little bit earlier, but let's just stick with this routine saying that you're working from home. Now, everybody gets a lunch break, okay? So if you're working for the government or you're working for any type of business where you're sitting at an office, they generally give you a lunch break, which is in and around 1 to 2 p.m. This is where I recommend that you get an additional workout. Now you don't need the full hour to do your workout, so that would give you an extra 15 to 20 minutes to enjoy your lunch or get on social media or do whatever type of household stuff that you need to do, phone calls, pay bills, et cetera, et cetera, in that same time frame. And also, most businesses give you two 15 minute breaks if you're working an eight to eight and a half hour shift. So my recommendation to you is to utilize these 15 minute breaks to eat your food, okay? You don't have to eat your food at lunch. Breaking the fast means breaking the fast, not breakfast, you don't have to eat before lunch. You can have your first meal after you've had your workout, so in and around, let's say 3 p.m. Now, let's say you get off at 4.30, you pick up your kids in and around 4.40, 4.45, or even 450, whatever long it takes you to get there. For us, we live about 10 minutes from the school or even seven minutes from the school and then another 20, 10 minutes to get to the gym. So we get there for right at 515. If you show up a little bit late, that's okay. Just tell the coach of the day, listen, I can get here at 515, no earlier. We'll completely understand. And now you're able to get two plus a bonus lunchtime workout if your goals are to shred fat and lose weight. Then let's say you have a kids event like us, we often have a kids event in around 6.30 to 6.45 and so we gotta drive there, we gotta get them there, we gotta get them ready and then we're usually home in and around 8.30. Now here's the kicker about kids events and I want you to listen up, is that we pick the sports that the kids love, okay? And our kids right now are seven and five years old, okay? We put them into the swimming pool, they absolutely loved it. And so we've built our life around them going to the swimming pool, but we do private sessions so that we can pick and choose the time that we want them to work out. And so when it comes to your kids' events, we have to ask ourselves whether or not these events that we are putting them in, whether it be hockey, dance, or swimming, are these sports that your five-year-old chose, or is it a sport that you chose? Because if you chose this sport for them, then you're gonna be subject to whatever times that these hockey camps happen at. But if you're looking to live your own independent life while growing them up, being athletic and fit and playing whatever sport that they love, then you have to be able to pick a sport that is going to be realistic based on your time frame. And so you have to pick the sports where you can slot them in and pick your own times. To me, a 9 p.m. skate is unacceptable, right? But it can potentially be happen Everything needs to get reshifted. And I think a lot of us need to reevaluate whether our kids need to be in dance five days a week. And that's just my thoughts to you, where if you're just looking for them to be athletic and they're five years old, we're never gonna know if they're gonna be the next Sidney Crosby. 
So do they need to be on the ice four to five times a week? I don't think so, okay? I've been training hockey kids for a very long time and the percentage of people that get to the very top, they didn't necessarily need their kids to be in hockey six days a week. And so I want you to live your own independent life and I wanna make sure that you just aren't burning through life quickly by doing a bunch of your kids' events when you could have prevented that with proper time management and being realistic with your expectations and your goals for your kids. Now when it comes to your personal time, we have to understand that your personal time is now your workout time. So your friend circle might shift a little bit. You might only talk to the people that you work out with. And that's fine because really we don't have the time to go to Earl's Main on a Friday at 8.30 p.m. and have drinks and appetizers and get home at 11 and be exhausted and not be able to get up at 5.45. And so social media time, going out to Earl's, those things have got to wait until the weekend. And so now we have to make sure that our personal time is us going to the gym for 30 minutes. All I'm asking is for 30 minutes. You don't have to do the two workouts a day and you don't have to do the lunch hour workout, but you definitely have to do one every single day. And that might be the only 30 minutes that you give to yourself, but I'm telling you, it's one of the most important minutes that you're going to give. You never go through Instagram Reels and you never go through YouTube Shorts and you just mindlessly scroll and yeah, you get a couple of gigs and laughs, but what happens after? You don't feel any better, right? You didn't do anything for yourself physically or mentally. All you did was just basically zone out for 30 minutes and you, you haven't improved your life in any single way. So if you have the choice of sitting down, relaxing, getting 30 minutes to yourself, going on your phone and looking at Instagram stories, or getting your ass to the gym, I'm gonna tell you, get your ass to the gym because you're gonna feel so much better afterwards. And the last thing that I wanna tell you is discipline, is that you must be disciplined with your time. Now we're all disciplined with our kids' time, right? Everything has to be on point. We want them brushing their teeth by nine. We want to give them 50 minutes on their phone time. We want them sleeping by 9.30 so that we can get them up at 7 a.m. and they're not gonna be groggy. You need to stick to the same discipline platter that you would give to your kids you need to do the same thing for yourself, okay? So what do you need to do? Is that when you're at the office, think about when you're sitting at your desk if you're at the office, right? And somebody comes into your office or you guys, you go to get water or whatever it is, I don't know, I don't work in an office, but I remember back in the day, I was the guy that was a distraction because I would get my work done first. But what I would do is go to people's desks and start talking to them and the, what needs to happen is we need to tell people, listen, hey, I've got work to do, let's chat over lunch. Right? Let's go for a walk. Let's make it an act of lunch. But if you were at work and you had work to do, you'd tell that person to basically piss off. Okay. Now, when you're out and you're about or people messaging you on Messenger, we got to understand that our time is precious. So unless the people on Messenger or Instagram or whatever it is are messaging you and it's important and it's based on improving your life through your fitness or helping you to get more managed with your kid time or it's going to improve your income through work, then I think a lot of these conversations and time wasters are unnecessary. So you need to stick to your discipline schedule Monday through Friday. On the weekends, that's fine. If you got your five workouts in, then do whatever you want on the weekends. Don't let your weekends affect your Monday. But I'm telling you, stick to a discipline schedule like you would for your kids or like you would for your work and apply that to your life. So what do we need to do? Number one is that we need to understand that our personal time is now our workout time. Use that 30 minutes to connect with other people that you're working out with. Make it a social event, but also make it an opportunity for you to get fitter. When it comes to your kid, yes, you want the best for them, but do we really need them in events five to six days a week where it monopolizes our own personal life? I don't think so. And if you want them to be into that schedule, then you gotta be able to produce the opportunities for you to get them into times that work with your schedule. And I'm sure you've got a lot of skills. Now, if you don't have the income, you might have some type of skill or talent that you can barter and you could probably hire somebody to do a lot of these things at the times that work for you. You just gotta use that creative mind of yourself. And last but not least is you need to be disciplined with your time. We gotta understand that there's a lot of time sucks out there, especially when it comes to our phone, that we're gonna get sucked into and we're gonna lose a lot of those times. When your schedule is so tight, like I laid out from 5.45 in the morning until 9.30 at night, every minute counts and you have to understand that you cannot. It's just like eating late, eating a bag of chips right before you go to bed or a handful of popcorn. 
Was it super necessary? You know you didn't need to do that. It's the same thing with your time. You need to be disciplined with your time. You need to stick with your schedule. And I guarantee if you do this consistently for long term, you're going to be a healthier, happier you. I'm Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit. I understand that people fall off. So if you're looking for increased accountability to do the things that you necessarily need to do in order for you to advance your life through fitness, health and wealth or whatever it be, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, mention the belly burn and we'll get you into the next one.